Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 16 of Building the Batmobile from 1966. Uh, in this issue, we're continuing the chassis. Uh, there's not much to do on most of these builds in this pack, but uh, it's all necessary stuff. Uh, so let's have a look. We're looking at... Uh, he meets his match, the Grizzly Ghoul. Uh, that was first aired on March the 3rd, 1966. Uh, does it say anything in more? It's got lots of things about who's in it and everything else. Special guest villain, the Joker. Cesar Romero, yeah, obviously the, the classic Joker from back in the day. There we go. Feel free to read all about that if you like. Is that two pages I've got there? The one. There we go. And then looking at the comic strip from that period. There we go. The Batman. Ah, 3D. Third dimension. With special bat glasses to wear it. Make the the uh, it's the the traditional red green, um yeah stereo stereoscopic I think is the word, but, uh, yeah it'll have plain sort of ink picture and then a green off to one side and a red off to the other side. It depends how far apart the reds and greens are, as to how much foreground background it makes it look like it's coming from. Very interesting stuff. Um and the forerunner obviously to normal. 3D where each eye sees something different. Uh, yeah, so there we go, that's that. Uh, so what we're doing now, continuing the chassis, got a pair of tweezers in this one, like lots of supplying tools. So uh, all we need to do is attach the two bars together and then attach them to the bar that we've already got. Good stuff. Uh, tweezers. Uh, in this pack, you'll receive a pair of tweezers. These will be useful for fitting the various PVC and electronic cables you will encounter during the building of your weapon. Yeah, that's nice. I, I like that they supply things that you need, screwdrivers and tweezers and things. Uh, obviously, I've got several tools of my own anyway, but it's always nice to get extras. Uh, so yeah, there we go, that's that. Let's um, clear this out of the way and we'll get straight to it. So, uh, the tweezers that we've received, let's have a look, they've got a little uh, band on them to hold them together. They're okay. They're not the best quality and best materials, but they certainly do the job. I shall leave those open. And indeed, put them in storage where I've got the rest of my tools and tweezers, uh, which are just off camera there, but trust me, they're there. Uh, we've got two different types of screw. Uh, we have uh, GM and EM. Uh, GM is the one that I'm going to be using first. Just one of those needed. Hold these two bars together. One I shall put to the side. Uh, so that goes across there like that, and that will hold that in place. Own screwdriver for that through the first of these three holes. Now, obviously, this is the chassis which is going to be holding everything together, so you need to make sure it's done properly, tight, and secure. Uh, always make sure the screw goes in fully. Uh, I don't like to use oil on screw threads because screw threads like to hold that's what their whole point is if you add lubricant to them then they're not going to hold as well so uh, the easy way of making sure they go in properly is to tighten them down a lot you know a few turns and then what i like to do is go back a quarter turn half turn and then go forwards again and you can often get a little bit further down than you did before just by doing that so that is now nice and secure on there uh, this will then go onto that bit. So that's probably the back. This is just the middle. I was incorrect. Uh, that's going on there with the two of the EM screws. To hold that together. Two of those out from there. Put that in our pile, which at the end of the month I will put away. Uh, probably put into the Batmobile spares box that I've got running and got all the parts that we haven't used in it yet. Uh, the engine will go back in there as well. It's not going to be attached to this by the end. Uh, when you're attaching more than one screw, always worth getting both or th all of them in first before you tighten down the first one. That just makes sure everything lines up where it should. Uh, and then the same thing applies, go forwards and then back a bit. It sort of breaks off any rubbish that's in the thread, any paint that might have slipped in there while I'm manufacturing it. And it's worth alternating between them, get them both tightened down 
in concert rather than tightening one fully and then the other one. It's nicer on the parts. It keeps everything lined up properly. There we go. A little bit more tight than it's needed on that, but I'll do that off camera. So for now, that is another issue complete. Uh, I think we're going to continue building this up for a few more issues yet. So uh, thanks for sticking around. I shall see you for more next time. So thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Yeah.